What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be showing you how to generate a XML sitemap for your website. So there are two different ways that you can generate a XML sitemap. You can either use Screaming Frog or another online free tool that I will show in a second. I would recommend using Screaming Frog. And Screaming Frog is a really robust crawling tool for SEO that any webmaster should have. They offer two different versions. There's the free version, which allows you to crawl upwards of 500 URLs. And they also offer the paid version for crawling more than 500 pages or URLs. So if you want to generate a XML sitemap for a larger website, then you'll have to opt in for the paid version. But I will show you the free version and creating a XML sitemap this way. So first you'll want to enter your website to crawl. And note that it can take a little bit of time if you have a larger website that you're trying to crawl. So give it about a second. And then once Screaming Frog has crawled all of your desired URLs, then the next step will be to click this sitemaps tab and then click on xml sitemap so here you will select the pages that you want to include in the sitemap i typically only include 200 response codes and i don't include no index or canonicals or paginated urls simply because these will eat up crawl budget by google so these aren't really necessary, especially no index pages. You don't want these indexed in the search results and the same with any canonical URLs. You can also select when the pages were last modified and assign priority based on crawl depth or how frequently these pages are changed. And you can also choose to include images within your sitemap I usually don't include images. Again, it eats up crawl budget because these image URL pages aren't very beneficial from an SEO standpoint. But once you've selected your options, then you will export the sitemap and it will save to your desktop. It's a really quick, simple way to generate a XML sitemap. The other option is to use another tool online, which I'll show you here in a second. So you can use xmlsitemaps.com and then enter your URL into the top bar and it will quickly crawl your website and create a sitemap based on the web pages that it crawled. So you can view your sitemap details and then download it. So Pretty simple stuff. And what you'll do with your sitemap once you've created it is add it to your website. And typically this is done via your domain provider cPanel or via FTP. So if you're not very familiar with either of those, then I would work with your web developer to implement your sitemap. And if you use a, uh, if you have a WordPress website, then you can actually use several different plugins and these will actually automatically generate a sitemap for your website. So you don't even need to make a manual one being stream via Streaming Frog or uh, xmlsitemaps.com. So you can either use Yoast SEO or All-in-One SEO, and you just install these plugins to your website, and it will automatically create a sitemap that dynamically changes as you add new content. So pretty simple. So that's step one. And what you'll want to do with your sitemap once it's added or generated for your website is to then include it in your Google Search Console account and your Bing Webmaster Tools account, which I'll quickly show. So here you will go into the sitemaps section of your Google Search Console dashboard, and then you will enter your sitemap URL. Typically your sitemap will be um, something along the lines of 
example.com slash sitemap.xml. Sometimes this can vary. So you can also use another tool via seositecheckup.com. And all you do is just enter your URL and it will discover your sitemap or sitemaps that have been automatically generated for your website if the URL structure is different. So then you would just include that and submit it. And then Google Search Console will display the status of the sitemap. And if it's successfully added or verified, and it will also show any errors associated with the uploaded XML file. So pretty simple. The other way to upload your XML sitemap is via Bing Webmaster Tools as well. So it's crawled by Bing. So enter your dashboard for Bing Webmaster Tools. And under the Configure My Site, you'll then click Sitemaps. And then all you have to do is just submit your sitemap here. And it'll be crawled. And again, it'll show you any errors or uh, the status of your upload. So beyond creating an XML sitemap, you can also create a HTML sitemap for your website as well. So one way to do this is to go to checkdomains.com and then click on HTML sitemap to generate one. And then you can view or download after it crawls your website. So all you have to do is you just make a brand new page on your website and then just include all of these links, copy and paste, and then include this in your website's footer or within the robots.txt file with the URL that you choose to specify as your sitemap, your HTML sitemap. Alternatively, if you have a WordPress website, then you can include either this WP sitemap page plugin or the hierarchical HTML sitemap plugin, and it will create a page for you that dynamically uploads or updates. And then let's say you don't have a WordPress website. Let's say you're using either Wix or Shopify or Squarespace. These content management services actually automatically create sitemaps for your website. So you don't even need to create a sitemap if you don't need to. So that's about it for my latest tip video. If you found this to be helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next digital marketing tip video.